Hi, what's up, YouTube? My name is Mia, I'm a photographer based in Lagos, Nigeria. Welcome to another behind the scene. In this behind the scene, I'm going to be doing something different from what we have been doing before. So I thought of uh, setting up a um, studio outdoor and uh, making use of natural light. I mean, the sun as my source of light. Uh, I shoot uh, with um, my Canon Repetit uh, with 50mm 1.8 as usual. So I'm thinking of laying my hands on a different camera or a different lens. I just want to shoot on something different these days. If you are new here, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to like the video. At the end of this video, you probably gain one or two things. By doing that, you are supporting the channel. This shoot was on around 4 to 5 p.m. in the evening. I had this beautiful and amazing evening sun. I don't know if the if evening sun is really correct. I don't know if the dark term is really correct. But uh, I don't just don't have any uh, term to use apart from evening sun. So if you know any terms that I ought to have used instead of evening sun, so let me know in the, in the comment section. Though. And for my settings, I use um, my shutter speed. No, let me start with, with my um, high ISO. My ISO was 100. Uh, my aperture was 1.8 and my shutter speed i was playing around uh, 500 to 640 of a second so the whole idea for this image was to get an image looking like a studio shoot uh using natural light so without wasting much of our time let's dive into it Uh, firstly, I really need to understand my lighting. Yeah, my lighting, where my lighting is coming from. So for this shoot, I wanted it to look like my light was coming from an angle of 45 degrees. This style of uh, lighting is called Rembrandt lighting. So the direction of light was coming from my left hand side. Uh, so I placed my reflector in such a way that was facing the sun, which is my light source. Hence, it was bouncing a light back to my subject. <music> So after taking a test shot, I didn't really like it because the sun, which is my uh, light source, was too harsh. Like the intensity was so high and there is no way I can probably reduce. So I had to bring out uh, my diffuser from my reflector and place it in the direction of my light in such a way that it's softening the light. Let me, let me just prove it that way. In such a way that it's softening the light. You know what I mean by that? So at this point, I successfully reduced the intensity of light. So the only problem was that I needed a filter to fill up uh, some shadows for me. So I had to improvise and use um, my reflector like that, even though I dismantled it already. <laughs> So I had to uh, call somebody to just help me to um, hold it like so that we uh, fill up the shadows.
So at this point, I was a bit satisfied with my outcome. Like my outcome was looking very nice at this point. So at some point, the sun uh, goes down automatically, the intensity of the sun, which is my uh, light source, was reduced. So I had to place my reflector back to normal and I use it um, normally. Yeah, that was it for the shoot. It was a really a challenging, I must confess. At the same time, it was fun and exciting doing something different anyways. I'm so happy with the result. I mean, the heart come of this shoot is so, so beautiful. I like the way the light uh, is on my model. Uh, the light is flattering on her face, like it's making her look beautiful. It really, really look like a studio setup, which was the aim uh, of this shoot in the first place. Uh, nobody will see this image and say it wasn't done in the studio. I mean, just with Curtis now, it looks exactly like a studio work, uh, except for some highly professionals that might probably detect. So it looks exactly like what I wanted, like all my aims for this shoot, uh, it came out really beautiful. Let me know what you guys think about this shoot. Uh, don't leave without dropping uh, a comment about the shoot. And again, if you are new here, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to uh, give me a thumbs up if you really enjoyed this video. Don't forget to uh, turn up the not notification bell so that anytime I pull up a new video, you can be notified. So, thanks for dropping by. Until next time, remember to stay motivated, stay inspired, and never stop creating. Peace.